And if you look at that, it looks kind of like a butterfly, but um, it's actually a reasonable facsimile of a human pelvis, minus the sacrum. And uh, if you kind of squint at, at the half of the pelvis there, right, squint till it goes a little bit fuzzy, okay? Keep squinting, hold that picture in your mind's eye, okay? Now, look at that. If you kind of squint at that, okay, let's make it a bit bigger, okay? Then you kind of squint at that. Do you notice that they're kind of similar? Okay, there's a scapula. There's a pelvis, a half a pelvis. Can you kind of, you know, if you squint till it's a bit bl blurry, does that, do they look a little bit similar to you? Thumbs up if they do. All right. So, well, we call this the shoulder girdle, okay, and we call this the pelvic girdle, and they are, they are anatomically quite similar. They have a lot of the same parts to them. Uh, and, you know, in, a, in humans, the pelvic girdle is a lot bigger than the shoulder girdle because we weight bear on this bit, you know, we walk around with our body weight on it, whereas this bit we don't. But if we were a horse or some other quadruped animal, you know, with four feet, well, this would be a lot bigger and this would be a little bit less big, right? So they'd be much more equal in size if we were a four-legged animal. All right, so anyway, so that's all. The reason I mention all of that is because, well, the, the upper leg bone, you know, the femur, is pretty similar to the arm bone, right? It's a bit bigger, a bit thicker, not exactly the same shape, but it's pretty close, right? If you, again, if you kind of squint, and look at those two bones. Can you see they're, you know, they've got this long shaft, got this long shaft. It's got this angled head, okay, that is angled up like so. It's got a bony bump on the outside here, okay. Can you see those sort of common features that, you know, they're not exactly the same bone, obviously, but you can see they're cousins, you know. All right, so all I'm getting at with that is that the human pelvis and the hip joint in particular is pretty similar to the shoulder joint in many ways right so understanding the hip joint and understanding the shoulder joint kind of go you know go together